you guys hope you're having a good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and welcome back to the sims 4 100 baby challenge so while layla is just eating up her croissant i just wanted to let you guys in on a little secret so i've been having gameplay and quality issues with the sims 4 really when i started playing it so i've only been able to play on some of the lowest settings but what i didn't know all i had to do to fix some of my performance issues was switch from Google to Firefox. So basically I was talking to my dad about how laggy my game was and he was like well why don't you try switching from Google Chrome to Firefox and I was like that's kind of dumb but okay. But it actually worked so although my game is still just a little slow it is running so much faster and the fact that I deleted all of my CC trying to make my game faster I deleted all the mods that I loved and it's just crazy to me that the solution to the majority of my problems was switching my browser so yeah <laughs> There's that. Just thought you all should know if you're also having lag issues or whatever with The Sims 4. I can't guarantee that it will work for you, but it definitely worked for me. I do eventually want to get a better computer and graphics card and stuff, but for now, this is running pretty well for my liking as long as I stay kind of on the low medium settings. But yeah, Layla is here at this cafe in Windenburg. I totally forgot what it was called, but <laughs> it's made by Little Simsy, and of course, she's knitting just like usual. But today is her due date actually no i don't think it's her due date she's in her third trimester and it ends in 13 hours so i think the baby is probably going to come tomorrow or babies which i'm super excited about this is the start of pure chaos but i'm ready and i think layla is super ready too i mean she's got ducky she she'll be fine she'll be well supported but that croissant really didn't give her any nutrition at all so i think we'll probably just eat a little more at home tonight but i do want to get her something to drink go ahead and do it to go i think layla should get i wish there was an iced coffee i'm sorry i'm obsessed that's like my thing but i'm gonna go ahead and get her a mocha even though it is really hot out right now oh uh, well no okay it's warm so it's not that bad i was gonna say if it was like blazing hot i would probably get her something a little more on the colder side but this should suffice and plus because she's about to give birth and pretty much lose all her energy um i think she should enjoy her first coffee of many many coffees. I want to put a coffee machine in the house because I have a good feeling that she's definitely going to be tired a lot from all those little babies running around. Also I do know that because of Ducky we will have one less slot in our family for a baby to be born but you know what it's fine. I mean Ducky is literally the main reason that we are pretty much still alive and kicking right now. You know had it not been for Ducky I think Layla would not be okay right now. Do you guys see what's happening I, I don't think it's happening right now but these sims have been like in shock at layla i don't know if it's because she's you see this they're like oh, and i'm i don't know why like i deleted all my mods and i don't know if it's like cc or anything i mean i have mc command center in slice of life you know probably I'm thinking it's slice of life just because I had slice of life a few months ago and this same problem kept happening so I deleted it and it went away so I might have to delete it which I really don't want to but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do I just feel bad for Layla because everybody's like oh who is this woman <laughs> do you see that why are you talking crap about her she is literally the most beautiful woman I know also she is very flirty right now was that did that dream make you flirty mmm it's chocolate <laughs> it's a chemical attraction what are you ordering now oh my god she's so hungry but anyways if you didn't notice i did give layla a little bit of a makeover i couldn't resist um ever since i got this hair from savvy sweet i was like this screams layla to me so yeah i got it and then i kept her skirt and shoes but i put her in this little sweater that's supposed to match uh the skirt like it has matching swatches in it and cast so i thought that was super cute let's go ahead ahead and use the restroom and then I guess we'll go ahead and head home. So what I'm kind of having a problem with right now is making money because I initially wanted to only sell um, stuff on Plopsy but as you can see last episode it only gave us 10 simoleons which I thought it was going to give us a lot more. So I didn't want to do painting because I feel like that's what pretty much everybody does. Um, I wanted to do candle making but I didn't want to go through the trouble of having to get all the ingredients so i was thinking maybe she could use the woodworking station 
because I've never had my Sims use it. You know, it's just been sitting in build by mode, but I just haven't used it. And you know, I just get the vibe that Layla would love to sculpt and make things out of wood. I think that would really be her strong suit. So I'm going to go ahead and let her order one more croissant and then I'll meet you guys back at the house. All right, you guys, we are home and I went ahead and gave Layla a thermostat. I got her kind of a cheaper TV so we could afford our woodworking table and just keep it in mind that we will not be woodworking forever. Um, like I said, I do want to get her a music station eventually, but I think the more you get better at woodworking, the more your items will sell for. At least that's what I think right now. Also, Ducky, girl, why are you sad? What's wrong, honey? The cutest dog in the- okay, we're not giving you attention. I'm sorry. Um, oh, okay, so let's go ahead and give her some special smoochies because we are companions. And let's see, let's kiss her and scratch her favorite spot. Oh, okay. So Layla's got a massive breakout, which I guess I'm assuming is from all the pregnancy hormones. I wouldn't know. Never Never been pregnant but that's what I'm assuming so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this just a tiny bit I want to see how much this sculpture is gonna be worth um, I'm assuming not much but we'll see okay so the time spent woodworking has paid off well okay so 20 bucks not bad I love how she's mopping the pee off on the porch like girl that's <laughs> that's supposed to be there but we're gonna go ahead and get some work done around the house do some laundry and i'm gonna have her do just a bit more of woodworking and we should probably be giving birth tonight which i'm super excited so i will go ahead and talk to you guys later when she is in labor so you guys, as she is making a new garden pot, I think Layla just went into labor. <laughs> and she's just going at it too. She's like, I want to keep working on this, man. I want to get that coin. I love her so much. But we're going to go ahead and go to the hospital. Um, let's join her as well. First few babies, guys. This is insane. So I think we're just going to join her at the hospital for the first birth. And then we'll have the rest at home because I don't think we'll have the time to to go to the hospital for every single birth that we have but here we are which is she gonna change into her little like costume or whatever and do i have to check in i never literally never go to the hospital to have the baby so is she just gonna chill here go ahead and go pee um i don't know what to do isn't she supposed to change into like a hospital gown there she goes okay are you gonna like go lay down i mean if you're not gonna lay down i'll just give you a snack or something but it kind of looks like you're going to oh yes okay <laughs> there we go goodness our little layla is giving birth this is what you've always wanted girl <laughs> oh my god her face girl you're breaking out bad i mean it's okay i used to have like incredibly bad acne so i feel you but oh my gosh <laughs> what is this guy doing please don't take out her heart i know they do that sometimes please don't do <laughs> look they're fighting i i freaking hate this man it was like what the fuck is going on <laughs> oh my gosh i love it this doctor man oh my god wait we flirted with this guy we f <laughs> bro we flirted with that guy at the freaking bar that's so awkward okay so i did see a baby name that i liked under the last video a baby girl so i'm gonna name her georgia because i have a friend in Drig. I have a friend named Georgia. So there you go, Georgia. And a baby boy. So I also saw the name Damien that I liked under my last video. So triplet? No? Okay, that's still fine. That's fine. We're fine. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that we didn't get triplets. Amen, sister. Oh my gosh. Oh, so we got Damien who already crapped his pants and we got Miss Georgia. Oh, sweet baby. All right, guys. So I think we're going to take the little babes home. I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> She's already like, I'm done with this. I'm going to go knit. Um, I'm going to do like a little mini uh, room build and show you guys what the room will look like for the little babes. But we are home now and they're starting to cry. All right. But this is super exciting. You know, I'm kind of starting to think that knitting is is also a form of emotional support, I guess, because Layla is doing it constantly, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep the baby
babies here, but at the end of the video, there will be just a little bit of a room build right here that you guys can go ahead and watch. But it's 7 a.m. Also, Georgia's very hungry, so we're gonna go ahead and feed her. Which one's Georgia? Here it comes, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and change both our diapers and feed them. Oh, this is just the beginning, I swear. Emilio is just looking down on her, and he is super freaking proud of the mom that she is now becoming. I love it so much. I really do believe that. I do believe that, you know, he's looking down on her and I don't believe he's judging her either. He's like, babe, you want a kids? I mean, if you want to get it whatever way you want to, I don't care. He just wanted her to be happy. So I love that. That's good morning, guys. So since she does have a little bit of acne, I'm going to go ahead and give her a skin treatment and this is from the slice of life so i'm gonna do a one-time treatment for her let's see <laughs> eye bag bro <laughs> freaking eye mask i swear to god the one mask the one mask that you could choose i don't know it's fine but i think yeah so both of them are asleep right now so we're gonna take this to our advantage and make a little bit of a meal let's do another <laughs> we made a crappy fruit salad earlier so let's see if uh layla does any better also for some reason i didn't know that the kids would have layla's last name so georgia and damian maldonado i thought they would have the last name of um their donors so that's actually really cool i love that so let's see let's let's look at our family tree and see um so just think in like i don't know maybe a month or two this will be all the way out here and then you know layla's obviously not gonna live forever which i'm very sad about but um her youngest female child will become the matriarch and i honestly can't wait to see what she'll be like i can't even wait to see what georgia and damien will look like because it seems like they have um lighter skin and both her and messiah i believe um have darker skin yeah, so Messiah has darker skin too, so I'm just wondering if that's kind of like a glitch or something. So I'm curious as to see what they will look like. But usually in my regular gameplay, I age babies up as soon as they're born. So I'm gonna have to wait till it says it's their birthday, unfortunately, but I think we can do it. Not gonna lie, I think Ducky's just a little bit jealous of her new siblings, but it's okay, she'll be fine. I think she likes them. Definitely feel like because she was trained to be emotionally supportive, I feel like she'd be awesome with kids so I'm definitely not worried about it. I also want to change her out of this because that does not look comfortable at all to be in. No, oh, no, honey. I think we're gonna take her out for a walk too after this. At least that's if the babies aren't freaking crying their asses off. But. Go ahead and feed Miss Ducky and then eat the rest of our fruit salad. Also, tonight is night on the town, so I do want to get pregnant again tonight, but maybe we can just call up. You know, Salim has been hitting up our phone. I've kind of been editing out the parts where he does hit us up. Not not on purpose, just out of coincidence. I'll be quiet in that part or something, but he's been hang hitting us up a lot, so I'm thinking we can invite him out tonight to go somewhere. Maybe go on a date? I don't know. She Layla's never been on a date. Well, at least after Emilio passed away, so this will be something really new to her, but it looks like the babies are up. Ducky, honey, you're hungry. I have food right here. S Stop playing, girl. You lying. She a big fat liar, so let's see who's crying. George Georgia. Ah, Georgia. Okay, what do you want? Um, let's cuddle you. I'm, I swear I'm not this mean to kids in person. I swear. It's just the Sims babies are so freaking annoying and I just love the toddlers a lot more. They're so much more fun. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna go ahead and cuddle her. Oh. God damn, Tucky's just chewing that shit up. She's like, I haven't been fed in a week. Which is a lie. You know that, Ducky. You know we feed you. But let's go ahead and put the laundry away. And then we can go ahead and walk Ducky. Maybe finish some of our woodworking. Um, while we were gone, I actually got to level, let's see, what was it? Um, I got to level three of the handiness skill, I believe. Yes. So Layla gets to craft a lot more items. I think a bar stool, planter pot, stuff like that. But let's go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so talking to Ducky, let's go ahead. You know what? Let's go on a jog because I don't think we could have done that while we were pregnant, which is 
really weird to me like the fact that you can't even do yoga when you're pregnant that's kind of like what that doesn't make sense you know what i mean like wouldn't you want to do yoga when you're pregnant like that would calm you the heck down you know what i mean but i did change her athletic wear too i gave her something a little more neutral but they're just gonna go on a jog once stucky stops being dumb but yeah definitely want to hit up salim tonight but i think we might save that for the next episode because i feel like if we did that tonight this episode would be way too long which i don't even know how long it is now but we'll take it jan so don't forget there will be just a little speed bill at the end of this video don't forget to leave a like and make sure you turn your post notifications on so you get notified whenever i post a video and as always if you want to go ahead and subscribe for more sims 4 videos bye y'all